dive into the man himself, self-made millionaire and now author. Uh, thanks very much for joining us for a couple of minutes. I know you're very, very busy today. Uh, so last time I saw you, back in 2012, you were calling for the Dow to reach 40,200. You were right. Uh, what can we expect it to do now? All right, so we've come a long way. Markets right now sitting around 18,000. Um, it's not going to grow as fast as before. I think what you've got to do now, Alex, you've got to pick a mix. You know that those little sweets you go when you go to the cinema and you see these pick a mix? It's a case you have to do that with stocks. You can't just say, I'm going to buy everything. You've got to be selective. But there's still plenty of opportunities. Um, but overall, I still like the stock market. It's still a good place to be. We often hear that it's harder for small investors to make money these days. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, you know, I often hear this saying, oh, I'm small, so I can't start, I can't do uh, something. That's nonsense. There's always plenty of opportunities. Uh, now there's things like exchange traded funds where you can just buy £100 or $100. So there's still opportunities for the small investor. The internet has helped as well um, because now you get information that only the professionals used to get, either for free or very little cost. So there's plenty of opportunities for the little investor. So what if somebody's watching right now who's just got a small amount of money, what would be your best advice? Best way, and I'm not just saying this because I've got a course, is get some education. Don't just go and put all the money into the market and take tips from your Uncle Bird or whatever. Get some a real system, learn, practice trade, then start with some small trades, build up. I know I've made a lot of money, but it's also taken time. It's not going to happen in two or three days. Um, don't get disheartened if you get a few losing trades. It's just part of the business. Um, and just slow and steady will win the race. Any tips for anybody on uh, trades to look out for at the moment? Yeah, I think biotech is still an interesting uh, sector. Again, you've got to be careful. You know, there's no doubt about it. People are living longer, medical, um, you know, sciences. The aging population is big. Another interesting market is the pet market. Uh, dogs and cats um, are becoming, you know, more and more human. And now we're starting to see pet pharmaceuticals. People, you know, I'm a dog owner. And, Me too. Uh, yeah, right. And we love our dogs. And we spend too much, you know, and more and more premium products for dogs. Um, so there's a lot of you know, money in pets, basically, uh, products, pet pharmaceuticals. So that's an interesting sector to look at. Brilliant. Thanks very much for your time. Thank no, you. there's lots to do today. Thank you.